Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video review and in today's episode we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Studio Series 72 Bumblebee movie Starscream and I am super happy and excited to celebrate the one year anniversary video about this figure. This figure absolutely looks tremendous and it is absolutely amazing and it, it, it's a lot better went in person than on the stock images and everything else this figure really does bring that starscream out we thought blitzwing brought out that color of starscream but no starscream the real starscream from the cybertronian mode in the scene of bumblebee movie absolutely looks incredible now of course when we zoom in on his face we can see a lot more detail and everything. I mean, I'll be a little bit closer, but I mean, it's it's really good. But without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the figure and the box. So for the box, you do have the uh, CGI image of him right there. Of course, he looks pretty good looking. Of course, you got the cannon there. Um, I really, when I saw this figure on a video from somewhere on the internet on the Transformers thing, I really thought this was a joke, like a dig bash, I think that's what they call it, where people like edit figurines to make it look like different figures. Take a uh, long haul, you can edit him and he will look like Onslaught, but th this figure sh truly does bring out the color. and. This this figure really does look pretty good. Of course, you got Bumblebee movie. He got Studio Series Starscream, and they got the Transformers Generation text logo and everything. I mean, I'm not really gonna go into full detail and everything, but of course, you do have that close-up image of him there. And then on this back of the packaging, you can see him there and there. Of course, he does have some really big um, thing there, and he transforms in 31 different steps. He covers. He has a really cool background and his bio. Starscream and the Seekers destroy the Autobot launch pad on Cybertron in an effort to prevent their escape. Of course, this is big screen inspired too. And of course, you got a more outer CGI image of him there. And of course, as you guys can possibly see, you can see some, um, Blitzwing in the background. And for some weird reason, and I don't know why they do this, and I really hope they change this soon, I don't know why he has an Autobot symbol, even though he's logoed to be a Decepticon. You know, I'm, I'm not 100% sure how that works. But without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get him opened up and out of the packaging. We have Starscream fully transformed into a robot, or I'm sorry, vehicle mode. And, I mean, this, it's okay. It's okay. I mean, of course, it does have a Cybertron kind of thing to it. And thank goodness I brought a Seeker in here. So, hold on. I'm going to, oh, shoot. So, I'm going to add something here so we of course have the bumblebee star scream figure which we've i mean of course we saw the seekers in that film but of course we have the netflix seekers from siege and we can see a totally like real like match here of course we got the Siege one where it's curved on the side, right? And of course we have the live action version. And I really hope they actually come out with more uh, seekers to add to the real life collection. But I mean, I mean, I could seriously see what's going on and what's happening here between these two figures here. I mean, I I can see it. I can see it. But um. The, I mean, it's alright. I mean, of course, there are a few uh, aspects, to, I mean, a few things to add to this. You, 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 of course, have a rubbery, you know, tip for the plane, the jet. You got a rubbery, like, cockpit shield piece, because you can see, like, it's rubbery there. So it's rubber, right? It's really flimsy and everything, but everything else is like a hard plastic. Of course, there are Decepticon symbols on the sides here. Um... But it's all right. The only problem, the issue I had with this in the stock images was what the heck is that? This undersection of this jet mode, the Cybertronian jet mode, was like 
what is that? And I was just... I was really not going to pick this figure up at all. Until, you know, I uh, saw something new on the shelf, so I had to, you know, grab it. I haven't done a video in quite some time, and yeah, this isn't really a review. I want this to be more of a documentary on what my thoughts are. I mean, there are a few good details here and there and everything like so. I mean, it could have been better. This could have been more G1 accurate, but I mean, I guess it is what it is. That's what you get for 30 freaking dollars. But yeah, that's him right there. Of course, I'm not going to go through the whole transformation and everything. I will go on ahead and do a stop motion, though. So I will, guys, show you how cool this really looks. And here's Starscream, fully transformed into robot mode this time. And this figure, absolutely, it's okay. It's okay. Just okay. I mean, seriously, guys. There's a huge, huge um, similarity here, and I'm going to point that out. These two areas are the same. The cockpit sections are pretty much the same, and I forgot to do something during transformation. I think it might be easy. We'll find out here. Hold on. Those are the landing gears. Hold on. I was like, I knew I was missing something. And there we go. He's uh, fully transformed into robot mode. Of course, these guys pretty much have the same weapons. Of course, uh, Starscream does not include the stabby hand. And they pretty much only have in common is the same cannon for like arm for the arm. It's the same mold, just different color. The hands are completely different. They're like different sculpts. So are the legs. I mean, they've added a lot of different details to them. But this figure is okay. I mean, I was pretty happy with Blitzwing, but of course Hasbro has to turn around and make another figure, such as um, Megatron going, same product, new packaging, loses, like that. I mean, it's it just, it's just, this is still the same figurine in a way, with tra like, transformation's different. Sculpting's different, detailing's different, but there's a few things here and there that are similar. And I simply find the wings and everything like that a bit same. What I mean by that is that when these little wings, these, I mean these wings, tilts up each way. Of course, like I've said, hand cannons are pretty much the same. They're pretty much the same, as you can see there. Um, of course, head sculpts are, of course, different, but, I mean, the cockpits and everything like that, I'm not sure if that can go out, too. No. I was about to go, oh, wow, this is really similar to Blitzwing. Of course, Hasbro runs out of ideas and stuff like that, so they're gonna have to, you know, budget it down. <sighs> Got some plastic and stuff up here. But, no, I, I mean, this, it's an okay figure. I would rate this figure 6 out of 10. You know, just, I mean, I can't wait to get Studio Series. Do you know? That's gonna be fun. And simply just mainly the fact this figure is alright. Of course, we're gonna do side by side, like I mean like like this. There's different stuff here and there. Of course on the backs, pretty much the same looking. Of course on the sides again. But yeah, I mean the backs are different a little bit, but I mean the wing wing operations. It's pretty much the same. There is just it's it's different. They're different. Of course, they're not the same. Thank God. But I mean, I just I don't know how to I don't know how to put this figure. It's alright. But you know something? It was actually worth picking up to add to my Cybertronian collection. I'm actually super happy and excited about it, though. I got something new. On time for the first time ever. So anyways, guys, I mean, I have not really much to... Oh, we got all this dust coming up here. But, I mean, I, I, I don't know what to say about it. I mean, this this figure's alright. And I've said it multiple times, here and there. This, I mean, it's simply just the same. In a way, in my opinion. Of course, a lot of people are going to disagree with me on this. But it, it, it's my opinion. It's, it's nice. It's nice to have some more Seekers added to the collection. It's nice. I cannot wait to get a uh, movie one Starscream. That's pretty much a Starscream I want. And Revenge of the Fallen series as well. Those will be fun. 
But I mean, anyways, guys, that's roughly about it for this rev like video, in my opinion. <laughs> we should start doing rating videos of like not do like transformations at all, just kind of do stuff like this. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching.